Red Bluff Councilwoman stripped from her title as Mayor Pro Tem. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca spoke with Councilwoman Danielle Eyestone and the community about what happened. Some of the people living here tell me that they are very frustrated over what is going on with City Council. Just because she got upset, you know, a normal person would get upset. Danielle Eyestone says it happened at a closed meeting that she describes was with a city employee candidate about a job. And it was apparent that we were interviewing somebody that we don't have the authority to interview. Um, I, I left a meeting. I by no means left it under um, well-toned voice. I, I was very angry. It resulted in council voting to give her the boot from her title as mayor pro tem. But with that type of attitude, I feel that if the mayor's out of town, I don't want you running a meeting. I still thought council's actions were not only unethical, but they could have violated the Brown Act. We didn't have the ability to interview this person. So the fact that we were meeting with them behind closed doors is where the violation is at. District Attorney here Matt Rogers tells me that the Brown Act is meant to make sure that elected officials are being transparent with the public. If there's business being conducted uh, by a governmental entity, uh, it needs to be discussed in public with everyone there. The public can comment and weigh in and all of the members or a quorum of the members of the governing body um, are present. Eyestone will continue to serve on council and tells me she will continue to vote with the people's best interest in mind, but I don't see a cohesiveness that was once in place. I think there's going to be some um, frictions and people are not going to get along too good. And that's not good for the community. Rogers says that Eyestone hasn't filed anything with his office at this time, but if she does, they will investigate. In Red Bluff, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Eyestone adds that she's currently working with her attorney to bring something before the DA soon and will continue to serve as a council member.